Hello, my name is Natalia Porsche, and I am an attorney in Biloxi, Mississippi. My office is located at 2434 Pass Road, Suite E, Biloxi, Mississippi, 39531. And in this video, I will talk about the plea. So what happens when you enter plea of guilty to a criminal case? It could be a misdemeanor case or a felony case. Well, first of all, let's speak about, let me speak about criminal case, uh, which is a felony. So the felony case is governed by Mississippi Rule of Criminal Procedure 15.3. The guilty plea should be entered when defendant is present in open court. Okay, so the waiver is not allowed, as well as the waiver is not allowed in um, in uh, during the sentencing unless the court uh, took in consideration specific circumstances and allowed the defendant to um, enter uh, to do a sentencing through his attorney of record. So the guilty plea. First of all, the court, uh, if you decided to um, plead guilty to a charge, let's say your attorney engaged in um, discussion with a DA office um, or a prosecutor, that would be a misdemeanor case, um, and uh, you accepted a favorable terms of a plea and you decided to enter a plea of guilty. Okay, and so now what is going to happen is you will go to court and you will go in front of a judge and the judge always will make sure that you enter your plea is voluntary and knowingly made. Okay, so the judge will make sure that you're in the right mind, that you're not under some kind of medication which you do not take on a regular basis. The judge will make sure that you please volunteer, that no one um, make you made you to enter into a plea of guilty. And the judge will make sure that you understand a waiver of your rights. So what rights um, will you be waiving if you decided to enter plea um, of guilty? So first of all, of course, you waive your right to a jury trial. Let's say if you have a felony case in circuit court here in Mississippi, therefore you um on the Constitution of the United States and on the Constitution of, uh, of Mississippi, you can request, you you will be um, allowed to have a jury trial, right? Not even request, but you will be provided a jury trial, a trial by jury, okay? If it's a felony case, it's because it's a serious case. So now um, you can waive that. So what will you be waiving again? Let's go back to a waiver. First of all, you will be waiving your right to a jury trial in open court. Next, you will be waiving your right to appeal. Let's say you disagree with sentencing of a judge. You disagree uh, with your accusation, with accusation um, from the state. Therefore, um, you um, have a right to, if you go to trial, you're found guilty. You have a right to appeal. Now, if you decide to enter plea of guilty, um, therefore, you waive your right to an appeal. Number three, you waive your right to present evidence in court and prove your innocence. And I'm saying prove your innocence because it's 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 basically you, you, you're going to show your case. You present your case. Um, the state will present your case and you also present your case. So you are waiving that right to present your case. You're waiving that right to present evidence which will establish or could establish your innocence. Now, what else? You're waiving right to cross-examine your witnesses and the Sixth Amendment of the United States Constitution. Uh, the United uh, States Constitution. You have a right to cross-examine witnesses and evidence against you. Okay, so the witness who, who confronted you must come in person to court to testify against you. Therefore, you know, without this uh, main witness, let's say the state cannot convict you because you have a right to confrontation. Next, you're waiving right to be uh, to uh, impartial trial. You waive a right to trial. Um, you also waive a right to file any kind of post-trial motion, such as motion 2255. You waive right to cross-examine witnesses. You waive right to present your evidence. You waive right to um, ask, uh, you know, additional questions from a prosecutor, from a DA office. Um, basically, you're waiving all your rights by entering plea 
by entering guilty plea, you're waiving all your constitutional rights. This is very important because um, the judge usually, a judge usually asks, you, not usually, but the judge um, asks all the time this sort of question. So you need to speak with your attorney specifically about what kind of rights you will be waiving in court by entering a guilty plea. Okay, and remember the sentencing is always will be up on a judge. Judge will be in charge of your sentencing, whether the judge will follow state's recommendation. Uh, that's that's very, very, um, you know, questionable. Um, that, that will be up to you. But when you entering, that will be up to judge. But when you entering the guilty plea, you're waiving those very important constitutional rights. Thank you for listening to this um, recording. Um, if you have any questions or if you have a criminal case pending, you can give my office a call. It's 228-229-7500 and uh, my office is located in Biloxi, Mississippi. Thank you. Goodbye.